All right, guys. So today I'm going to explain to you why you can't stay consistent and how you can turn this around and actually stay consistent and accomplish some very great things in your life. So how I'm going to explain this to you is with the so-called toothbrushing effect, which is not a medical term or anything, but it's something I completely made up myself. So it's easier for me to explain this concept to you. You'll soon see what I mean with that. So let's not wait any longer and get right into it. So first of all, let's start out by taking a look at what your current situation looks like. Because whenever you start out with something new, like a new activity or a new habit or a new hobby where you want to stay consistent with, is that over time you will go through all of these different phases which have a very different amount of results coupled to them. And the first one of these phases that you go through is called the growth phase. So the growth phase is basically when you start out with something new and it's very new and refreshing and exciting and you're very motivated to work very hard on something. So maybe it's like a new year's resolution or something like that. And because you are very motivated and it's very new to you, you make a lot of progress because you can see that the line is going up very straight in this case. And you know, you can kind of compare this to like when you start out with something like meditation, for example, if you have never meditated in your life before and you suddenly start to do it every single day for a couple of weeks, then what starts to happen is that you make a lot of progress in terms of like your mental health in this case. But then over time, as you start to meditate more often, you will see that you will start to get into the diminishing returns phase, which means that even if you put like the same amount of time and effort into something, you won't have the same amount of results anymore. And the reason for that is because you're kind of past this newbie gain stage. You can kind of compare this to the gym as well, where at first, if you go to the gym a lot, you get a lot of newbie gains because your body is not used to having a lot of tension on it. But then as your body starts to adapt, it starts to resist more to like the resistance training that you're doing. And then you won't make the same amount of progress anymore. And with meditation, you can see this as well. Because over time, if you already have like established a good level of mental health, then you won't make as much progress anymore, even if you keep on meditating every single day. And then slowly but surely, then after that, you start to transition into the maintenance phase. And this is basically where your results starts to diminish even more. And now you're barely making any progress anymore. And it basically looks like a flat line in this case. Because when we bring back the example of meditation, we can see that after a while you will have established a certain level of mental health and you can't really go any higher anymore. And when we look at the gym, we can see this as well, because if we look at the bodybuilder like Arnold Schwarzenegger, for example, like he's probably not going to put on a lot of extra muscle anymore, even if he would train like very harder because he's way past this stage of having newbie gains. And now it's more of like a maintenance phase. And then what happens if you stay in the maintenance phase for a very long period of time is that you can have a relapse in your life. So this is basically where you mess up on your routine, you skip your meditation session or you skip your workout, for example, and you slowly but surely start to go down because you're getting less results because you skip those things. And the dangerous thing about those relapses is that they might spiral even more downward into this like fallback stage where you're skipping even more sessions, you're going to the gym even less, you're meditating even less. And then eventually you spiral so much downward that you end up back to square one. And that's when you end up in a so-called rut. And being in a rut is a very awful stage to be in because at this stage you realize that you had it all, but you threw it all away for some reason. And you become very angry and pissed at yourself because of this. And then what happens is that after a while, you become so angry and motivated again that you start again. And then the line goes back up again. You make progress again. And then the cycle starts all over again because eventually you will enter maintenance again and you will relapse again. And you will fall back again. So if you have a lot of trouble with consistency, this scenario is probably very relatable to you. Now, if you want to fix this problem for yourself, you kind of have to look at this relapse phase right over here, because this is the stage where things seem to go wrong and start to spiral downward. Make sure that eventually you end up in a rut and that you have to go through all of the phases all over again, which is why you can't stay consistent. But if we want to figure out why we relapse, 
we actually have to take a look at one step prior to this, which is the maintenance phase. Because for some reason, there is something that happens during this maintenance phase that makes you decide to start relapsing. And it's very strange when you look at it because the maintenance phase is basically the best stage to be in. Because at this stage, you're at the top, you have the most amounts of results in your life. So why is it that you decide to relapse and just throw it all away? And the reason why this seems to happen is because of the so-called toothbrushing effect. Because if we look at a habit like brushing your teeth, for example, we can see that the same thing is going on here. Because at the start, you have like very dirty and unhealthy and yellow teeth. And they hurt a lot when you drink something cold, for example. But then over time, as you start brushing your teeth, you're going to make progress very quickly. And then before you know it, you will have healthy teeth that look very white. And, you know, they don't really hurt when you drink something cold. And, you know, just like the example I showed you before, eventually what will happen is that you will get diminishing returns because what happens when you brush your teeth every single day, and I hope you do, is that you will continuously have like the same level of whiteness in your teeth. Like they won't really become any more healthy because that's simply the way it works. Because once your teeth are at a stage where they are very healthy, you can't really make any more progress anymore. And because you are at this stage for a very long time, like maybe you've been in this stage for like your whole life because you keep brushing your teeth, is that eventually you will experience these feelings of like boredom and forgetfulness. And the reason why this happens is because you kind of take your healthy teeth for granted. You start to wonder like why you're still doing this every single day. Like what's the point of just brushing your teeth twice a day? Because you don't really remember what it was like to have like unhealthy teeth and that they really hurt. So then what might happen in your life is that you will have a moment where you will mess up on your consistency and you break the cycle and you skip brushing your teeth once. You know, I could still remember this from when I was very young. You know, I would have these moments where I wanted to go to sleep, for example. And, you know, of course, you have to brush your teeth before you go to bed. But then I was just feeling really tired or, you know, it was already late and I didn't really feel like brushing my teeth. I just wanted to go to bed. So then I was like, you know what, I'm just going to skip it this one time. And, you know, what's the worst that could happen? But then what happened is that the next day I would wake up, I would have my breakfast and I would drink some cold water. And then suddenly my teeth started to hurt like hell. And then I was like, oh shit, now I remember why I did this all the time. Now I remember why I have to stay consistent with it because my teeth hurt like shit. And all this time I took having healthy and white teeth for granted. And then because I remembered this once again and I started to appreciate healthy teeth again, then I started being consistent with it once again. And then slowly but surely, my teeth would start to get white, my teeth would start to get healthy, and then the same would happen all over again. And the unfortunate thing about this is that eventually I would just get bored and forgetful once again. And then the same thing would happen again where I would just skip brushing my teeth occasionally and then I would have to face the consequences of that. So when we look at this problem, we can see that it has a lot to do with your emotional state of being. Because if we look at the first phase, which is like the growth phase where you make a lot of progress, we can see that when you brush your teeth and you go from these like very yellow and unhealthy teeth to these very white and healthy teeth, is that you feel very happy. And the reason why you feel very happy at this stage is because you went from these like very unhealthy teeth to these very healthy teeth. Because what you have to understand is that the way happiness works is that the amount of happiness that you feel is always based on the difference from like the previous experience that you had and the current experience that you had. And the bigger that difference is, the more happy you will feel. So if you go from very yellow and unhealthy teeth to very white and healthy teeth in a very short amount of time, which is what happens when you start brushing your teeth, is that you start to feel very happy. But then as we move on and we enter the maintenance phase, here we can see that our mood starts to change. Because what happens now is that when we compare our current experience with our previous experience, it's exactly the same. So we don't have that difference this time. And because of it, we feel very neutral because there is simply no difference in the amount of results that we have in our life. 
And because we feel neutral, we start to get these feelings of boredom and forgetfulness, like I showed you in the previous slide. And then what might happen is that we mess up and then we start to skip our session. We start to skip brushing our teeth this one time. And then what happens then is that, of course, we feel very sad because in this case, the current experience that we have is actually worse than our previous experience. So then we start to feel worse. But then, of course, we start brushing our teeth again, and then we start to feel happy again, because now our current experience is better than our previous experience, and we feel that difference again, so now we feel happy. And then, like I just showed you, the cycle continues over and over again, and this will happen over and over again in your life. So when we look at this from the bigger picture, we can see that what is basically going on here is that we as humans are very addicted to feeling happy all the time. And even so addicted that we are voluntarily willing to sacrifice the results that we achieved in our lives simply so we can go through these lows and then eventually experience that high again. It's like we are so addicted to these highs that we are willing to go through the lows. So then the question is, of course, if this is the way we as humans work, and we continuously sabotage our own progress because we simply hate this feeling of just being bored and just feeling neutral, then how can we solve this problem for ourselves? And how can we make sure that we can actually stay at the top and stay consistent? And well, the answer to this is actually more simple than you think it is, because all that we need to do in this case is simply change the way that we feel, and especially during the maintenance phase. Because what we can see in the maintenance phase is that we feel very neutral and because of it we get bored and then and also forgetful and because of that we mess up on our routine etc but imagine for a second here that instead of feeling neutral at this stage we feel very happy then what would happen instead is that we don't get like very bored but instead we are very satisfied with our results and because of that we are able to stay consistent for very long periods of time because why would you not continue to brush your teeth, for example, in this case, if it makes you feel very happy? And now the question is, of course, how do we do this? Because like I just explained to you, we can only feel very happy if there is like a big difference between our current experience and our previous experience. And, you know, when we are in maintenance, our experience is the same all the time. So how do we do this? And well, that's actually more simple than you think it is. Because all that you need to do in this case is simply create an experience like this yourself. And not by purposefully messing up on your routine or anything, but by simply thinking about what it would be like if you actually messed up and you had yellow teeth again, for example, in this case. Because if you have very white teeth right now and you start thinking about what it would be like if you had yellow teeth again, then what happens is that at first you feel a little bit sad because you start like experiencing that feeling inside of your head of like having yellow teeth again. But then very quickly after that, you start to realize that it's just an imagination. And suddenly you feel like very grateful and appreciative of like the white teeth that you have. So then instantly you get this very big boost in happiness. And because of that, it allows you to stay happy over time. So what you're basically doing here is practicing gratitude because when you're grateful for something, what basically happens is that you remind yourself of what it was like when you didn't have something and that it is very great that you do actually have that thing. So it allows you to create a happy feeling without having to fall back down and climb back up again. So if you practice gratitude consistently, you will see that you stay consistent with the habit or activity that you do, and you will also stay consistent with the results that you're getting from it. So if there is a moment in your life where you start to ask yourself questions like, why am I still going to the gym? Or why am I still meditating? Or why am I still brushing my teeth? Always keep in mind that the toothbrushing effect is at place here, that you are probably in maintenance mode at that time, and then what you need to do next is just start reminding yourself of what it's like to not have that thing in your life anymore and all the downsides that it gives you. And also be grateful about the things that you do gain from it right now. So that brings us to the end of the video here, guys. I hope you were able to learn something valuable from it. And if so, be sure to keep in mind that if you want this advice to do something for you, you need to take action on it as well. Because the motivation that you have right now won't always be there. 
So don't watch another video. Get the hell off of YouTube. Start thinking about some things that you are taking for granted right now and write down why you're actually grateful for these. Stop thinking, start doing. Take care.